Hi, I'm Christy Clarkson, Marketing Specialist at Power Factors. Today, I'm joined by Ioannis Gramatikakis, our Vice President of Global Sales. We'll be talking about supervisory control and data acquisition, or SCADA systems, and why they are essential for optimizing the performance of renewable energy assets like wind, solar, and battery energy storage. Ioannis is one of the founding members of InAccess, which joined the Power Factors family in 2022, and now leads our global efforts in SCADA, control, and grid integration sales. Hi, Ioannis. Great to have you here. So glad you could join us today. Hi, Kirsty. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Okay, let's start by breaking down our topic. What exactly is SCADA, and how does it function when it comes to managing renewable energy and energy storage assets? The term SCADA is not new. It was first introduced in the 60s when industries began automating processes that required remote monitoring and control. However, SCADA has evolved significantly over the years. And when we talk about SCADA in the context of renewable energy and energy storage assets, we need to recognize its critical role in integrating renewable energy into the modern energy mix. And let me explain here that first, SCADA provides real-time monitoring allowing operators to respond quickly to critical alarms with the ability to perform remote operations, maintenance teams can minimize the need for on-site visits, ultimately reducing costs. Second, SCADA systems can automate many control tasks, which increases operational efficiency. This automation ensures that renewable energy assets run optimally with minimal manual intervention. SCADA also plays a key role in grid compliance. It provides real-time feedback to grid operators ensuring that the renewable plan complies with the grid regulations. It works hand-in-hand -hand with power plant controllers to maintain smooth operations. Last but not least, SCADA is crucial for performance optimization. By identifying areas of underperformance, SCADA enables faster troubleshooting and allows operators to make data-driven decisions to address issues. In summary, SCADA is the eyes and the brain of renewable energy and storage asset. Thanks for that overview. Now, can you dive a bit deeper and explain how controls fit into this? What is the connection to SCADA? Controllability is crucial for renewable energy assets for two main reasons. First, it's essential for grid connection. In most cases, connecting to the grid is not possible unless the asset can provide real-time feedback and can be controlled by the grid operator. This control ensures grid's ability and compliance with the regulatory requirements. Second, Controllability is key for energy market integration. It allows participation in various markets, including the day ahead market, the continuous market, and the balancing market, as well as in ancillary services like frequency response, voltage control, and more. These control capabilities are provided by power plant controllers, which are often considered part of the SCADA system. Although power plant controllers are separate devices, when they are well integrated with the SCADA system, several benefits arise. These include seamless data exchange, coordinated maintenance procedures, a unified user interface. All those leads to a more consistent and efficient user experience. That's helpful. Now, when we talk about SCADA, we often hear about both local and central systems. What are the key differences between the two? Local SCADA systems focus on managing single site operations while central SCADA systems oversee multiple dispersed assets. And as renewable energy portfolios continue to grow, central SCADA systems are becoming increasingly important, both independent power producers, the well-known IPPs, and independent service providers, the ISPs, need to manage expanding fleets of renewable energy assets that span multiple technologies, including solar, wind, and battery energy storage systems. This level of management can only be achieved effectively by using true central SCADA systems, which are designed for centralized control from the outset, not merely by retrofitting legacy local systems to centralize a diverse fleet of local SCADAs. And this is very important. A well-designed central SCADA should provide the following at scale. Real-time monitoring down to the string level for both PV and battery strings accurate alarm management, centralized control across multiple sites, uniform data sets, and intuitive user interface across various assets. The architecture of a central SCADA system is critical for its ability to scale without bottlenecks, which can occur in areas such as 
data ingestion, data processing, and data storage. Therefore, a future-proof design and robust code implementation are essential to ensure the system's long-term success and scalability. Thanks again for joining us today, Ioannis. In our next video, we'll dive into what businesses should look for when selecting a SCADA and control system and potential challenges of implementation. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, Kirsty. Looking forward to it.